you know, I was, this morning, I was looking through the standings, right, to see, you know, where the Knicks rank and all of this other crap, and I see a donut next to the Knicks. What's going on, guys? It's Steve. If you hear a lot of noise, it is summertime now in Florida again. I mean, it was always hot, but... It's summertime pretty much and all the tourists are back. I mean, they've been here all year round, but they're back even worse than they were before. Okay, so now all oh, you're going to hear a lot of trolleys, trucks, buses, the Florida heat. It's like, they say it's 85 degrees, but I swear to you guys, it feels like 100 degrees. I don't wish I was back in New York right now, though. The reason for that is because right now in New York, it's like 45 degrees. And speaking about New York, Carmelo Anthony. Just came out and said he accepts his new role as the unofficial bench veteran, in other words. So in other words, Melo is going to stay on the bench and coach the young guys. Okay, but that, 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 that does not fly with me. You know, I said since the beginning of the season, Melo's still in his prime. He's grasping it. He's, he's hanging from a t tiny thread, but he's still in his prime. Okay, so Melo, they should have still been playing Melo 35 minutes. Even if he's in almost close to his post-prime era, why not use him to the best of his ability? Why not max out how much he can give to this team right now? So I, I don't understand that. And another thing that I don't understand is Coach Hornacek, and I said this since the beginning of the season, this coach is god-awful. This coach is god-awful. This guy does not know what to do with the rotations, which explains why. With Goran Dragic, Eric Bledsoe, and Brandon Knight, three point guards, three of the top 25 point guard, 20 point guards in the league on that team, and they couldn't even make the playoffs with that. I wonder why. I went back and I looked at the rotations, and I was like, wait a, I was like, wait a minute. These rotations are just as bad as they are here. Game one against the, uh, forget game one. We already know what happened. We got destroyed. I don't know what game it was. It's probably like game four or five of the regular season. We were playing the Memphis Grizzlies. My New York Knicks were up by like 15, 20 points at one point. He's continuing to play Melo in garbage time in the second quarter. We're like four minutes left. We're up by 20. Why not let him rest so he can play more minutes in the, in the second half? But no, what does he do? He plays Melo the entire first half. And then when Melo sits down, and when Melo sits down, and the Memphis Grizzlies start to come back. What happens then? He continues to bench Carmelo Anthony until the six-minute mark in the fourth quarter. Until the six-minute mark in the fourth quarter. Okay, so what does that mean? That means the Memphis Grizzlies came back. And he didn't put him back in until the Memphis Grizzlies were up by like five, ten points. You know, so to me, it doesn't even make sense. How are you going to wait until someone's up by... 10 points to put in your star player. As soon as you see a run, you should hit timeout and put him back in. But no, he calls timeout, and he doesn't, he doesn't put his star player back in the game. What does he do? He continues to rest Carmelo Anthony. The logic behind Coach Hornacek, I cannot wrap my head around. I don't understand anything this man does in terms of coaching. I don't understand. I would have rather had Phil Jackson coach. Honestly, I like that Phil Jackson got Derrick Rose because if you look at it from a historical standpoint, when Melo went to the Western Conference Finals, when 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 Melo had the second best record in the East, he had dominant point guards. Chauncey Billups with the Denver Nuggets, okay? He even had AI. I know AI is a two guard, but he's a ball handler, okay? He had uh, uh, Jason Kidd with the Knicks, post prime Jason Kidd after the championship, Jason Kidd, but he still had Jason Kidd, okay? So when I when I hear things like that, it, it truly just doesn't make sense to me. You know, because, first of all, I like that Phil Jackson got Derrick Rose, but what I don't like is, I don't like the fact that he hired Coach Hornacek that doesn't even know how to rotate rotations, rotate minutes, okay? So now we have someone that just wasted another year of Melo's prime, okay? And I know Melo's, you know, he's not as good as he used to be. I, I, it's clear, it's evident, but he still has it. He can still compete with the best players in the world. We've seen that against Atlanta. He still has that clutch factor. So when I see nonsense with terrible rotations and all of this other crap, it makes no freaking sense to me. That crap makes no sense to me whatsoever. 
Okay, and it absolutely positively pisses me the f off because honestly, we should have been the second seed in the Eastern Conference. We should have been the second seed in the East. But instead of being the second seed in the East, what happens? We be we're not even in playoff contention anymore. You know, out this morning, I was looking through the standings, right, to see. You know, where the Knicks ranked and all of this other crap. And I see a donut next to the Knicks. And I'm like, oh, crap. What does that mean again? And I went back and I scrolled down to the, the diagram that shows all the pictures and shit. And you know what it says? Eliminated from playoff contention. I already knew that, but that was just like a, a reminder that we are, you know, out of playoff contention. So I can't deal with this crap. You know, Melo's career is, you know, it, it sucks to say this. But if he stays with the New York Knicks and they have him as that veteran role, his career is over. The only chance Melo ever has of winning an NBA championship is either to go to the Cleveland Cavaliers in the offseason or the Los Angeles Clippers. They need to trade Melo. He needs to demand a trade to the Clippers. Hey, the Knicks wanted to trade him during the regular season? Fine. Trade me now. Trade me in the offseason to the Los Angeles Clippers. Because this is absolute nonsense. His career is over if he doesn't leave the New York Knicks. This franchise is a freaking cancer. They did it to Patrick Ewing. They did it to freaking, oh my goodness. Let's not even talk about that stupid Allen Houston contract. Wasted 10 years on someone that gave us 15 points per game, barely, for like two seasons. Okay? All right. And let's not even forget that we gave away David Lee. You know, I don't even want to. And the poor handling of Eddie Curry being injured all the time and all this other nonsense. Or Eddie Griffin. It's Eddie Curry, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, guys, it's been Steve. I'm out, man. I can't. His, his Mellow's career is over unless he goes to the Clippers or the Cleveland Cavaliers. I'm out. Peace.